Hey, what's going on guys? Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the 12 inch screen inside of this 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. Special thanks to Murray Chrysler here in Okotoks, Alberta for allowing me to come down and film one of their Ram 1500s. Let's get inside the truck and take a look at that 12 inch screen. All right, so let's go over here to the home. And as you can see, we have this split screen right now. So let's say I want to have my navigation right over here. I can touch there. I can go to my recent or favorites, or I can just go over to the map itself to see where I am while I'm driving. And then down here, let's say I want to have my music. So I can have my media down there and then control it from there. I can also touch this, which will swap the screens. By closing one of these, I can then, let's say, have my climate control. I can turn it on, adjust it from here. Now, let's say I am on the media screen. If I do adjust the climate, it will show it like that. So it shows it like this. And if I put it on auto, the light indicates, but you can see whenever you are in this split screen and you do play around with the climate it will overlay as well as show right there then we have here phone cyrus xm so if we want to see the map in full screen we can just touch here and now we have this really big screen full of map right over here it is also fairly responsive. From there, we can select where to. We can look between gas stations, restaurants, parking, ATM, and things like that. We can also check the recent, home, work, favorites, other destinations, emergency. Here we have the media screen in full. So we have the Bluetooth, AM, FM, auxiliary and usb this also has apple carplay and android auto and something really cool is that whichever one you plug in your iphone to it will activate apple carplay i tried using all four and all four activated apple carplay which is really cool we can also have the map while listening music so i will show it like that here we have controls so this limited has heated seats vented seats heated steering wheel mirror dimmer this is the automatic running board so if i touch this it just deployed it and then if i touch it again it will retract it backup camera so if i touch this it will show me just the backup camera and then i can zoom in to see the tow hitch then we have the surround view camera this will show me all of the angles top view the rear, the front, as well as the backup camera. The passenger seat is also heated as well as vented. Now this over here is the screen off. So pushing this button will look like this and I can touch the screen and wake it. I can also push the button again. This is the volume knob and also this is to turn it off. So if I touch the screen, it does not turn back on. Pushing this again will turn the screen back on. We also have mute right here. The phone is right over here. No phone connected. Would you like to pair? Now, going through the apps, what you can notice is that we have quite a bit of options that we would like to have such as if i want to have the 360 camera instead of this backup camera i can touch and hold and then replace it with this one now instead of the backup camera if i touch this it will activate the 360 camera so if i want to have the heated steering wheel really quickly accessible instead of climate i can just swap that out but if I change my mind, I can go back, touch and hold, and then replace it there, just like so. 
I can also replace these ones. So if I like that there, I can replace them. I can also take them to the next page and then replace this one example. So it just moves it like that. Now here on the apps, what we have is custom A to Z as well as filter. So here's the custom, we have the A to Z. So here's all of the apps we have. And then we have filter. So I can only see media, for example. Then I can see travel, controls, as well as help. Now, either we can go to settings from here or just touch this. It will take us to there, as you can see. We can scroll like this. It's really responsive, as you can see. We can also just touch and go down or just do it like this. Now let's take a look at the first menu. Now you can see over here that we have languages. So we have English, Spanish and French. Then we have display, display brightness. So we can adjust that auto or manual. We also have information for that. Then we have themes. This will allow us to change between the themes. So here's the limited. We have rebel. So if I touch this, it now looks like this. We have longhorn. So it gives you the options to go to the other ways, other types of trim levels, I guess. Let's leave it at limited because that's what we're sitting in. Um, let's see, then we have the touch screen. So this is the touch screen beep, just like when I do this. If I turn this off, it won't do that. Controls screen timeout. So we can have that on or off, which is control screen will close after a period of inactivity. Fuel saver display in cluster, we can turn that on. Then we have over here, navigation turn by turn display in cluster. Allows navigation commands to be displayed in the cluster driver screen. And then we have phone pop-ups display in the cluster. So we can have all those options to show up in that instrument cluster, it looks like. Going back over here, we have units, one of my favorite features. We can click units, choose US, metric, or custom, which is awesome. We can set the speed in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Then we have distance, we can choose between miles or kilometers. Fuel consumption, miles per gallon US, UK. We have liters per 100 kilometers or kilometers per liter. Then we have pressure and also temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Voice settings, voice response length. So this is detailed or brief. It looks like when you are interacting with the system using the voice command right there. This is the length of the voice system response. Show commands list. So always and then never and help. Clock and data, so we can set the time. Sync time with GPS. Choose between 24 hour or we can go with 12 hour. The show time in status bar is on, so it looks like it's right there. If I turn it off, it no longer shows it. Camera, so surround V camera. Surround V camera delay, so what I think this is, if I put, let's say, reverse, the 360 camera activates, then I put it in drive, let's say, it, it no longer is there. Let's put it in park. If I turn this on and I put it in reverse, then I go to drive. You can see now it kind of delayed, it didn't turn off, and now it's showing me the front, it looks like. The surround view camera guidelines. So this will turn with the steering wheel. So if I put it in reverse and turn the steering wheel, as you can see, it's changing with it right there tries to tell me how tries to show me how the truck will end up but if I turn this off and then put it in reverse as you can see those are all gone so if you don't want those there you can get rid of it then we have safety and driving assistance front collision warning so we have warning plus active braking 
forward collision sensitivity, far, medium, near, lane sense, it can give us a warning, as well as the strength, I guess, to put us back in the lane, says the strength of the steering wheel feedback for potential lane departures. Uh, park sense, we have front park sense volume, so we can adjust the volume. This is the front, then low. Here's the rear. Rear park sense braking assist that's on. Brakes the vehicle while in reverse if potential rear collision detected. Blind spot alert, so lights and chime. Trailer length for blind spot alert as well. Power side steps, so we can store. So I'm assuming right now, if I open the door, you can see, and then a few seconds later, once I close the door, it will go back up. There we go. So let's put it in store. And I'm assuming now it won't do that. Yep, it no longer came out. So if you don't want to use that power side steps, you can turn it off, it looks like. Heel start assist, so we can have it on or off. Tire fill assist, um, on or off, which is provides alert for tire fill assist. How though? Then we can see here, we have mirrors and wipers. So here's the mirrors. Tilt side mirrors in reverse. So if I put the vehicle in reverse, it's normal. Again, the camera turns on, put it in park. But if I have this on, it looks like once I put it in reverse, it will now tilt the mirrors for me to see the curb. Then we have wipers. So rain sensing auto wipers are on. Headlights with wipers are on as well. Automatically turns on the headlights if your wipers are on. Let's scroll down. Next we have brakes. So brake service. Would you like to retract park brake to allow for brake system service? Then we have the auto park brake. So we can turn that off or on. So what this does, I'm assuming, is if I, let's say, go to drive and then put it back into park. So you can see the parking brake did not activate. So if I turn this on, and uh, put it on drive and then back to park. Now the parking brake automatically engaged. To turn it back off, I push my foot on the brake, push this, and now it disengaged. Then we have lights, so headlights off delay. So we can set how long we'd like the headlights to stay on. Maximum 90 seconds, it looks like. Headlight eliminated on approach. Automatically turns on the headlights after unlocking the vehicle with key fob. We can set it to 90 as well. Headlights with wipers are on. Auto dim high beams. So these are the automatic high beams. Automatically activates slash deactivates high beam headlights when approaching another vehicle. Steering directed lights. Headlights turn relative to a change in the direction of the steering wheel. Flashlights with lock, you can turn that on or off. Then we have doors and locks. So auto door lock, off or on. Then we have auto unlock on exit, which will automatically unlock doors when exiting the vehicle. Flashlights with lock. Sound horn with lock, which will be first press off or it will sound the horn if you press it twice. Sound horn with remote start, it's on. First press of key fob unlocks driver door or all doors. So you can set to make sure when you press the key fob once, it will only unlock the driver's door and it will leave the passenger and rear doors all uh, locked. Passive entry automatically unlocks the doors when the outside door handle is grabbed, off or on. Then we have personal setting linked to key fob. So we can have that off or on. Then we have our auto on driver. So what this does is auto on driver heated and vented seats and steering wheel. So on all starts, remote starts are off. So that's the description. Engine off option. Easy exit seats. Engine off power delay, 45 seconds, five minutes, 10 minutes, or zero seconds. Headlights off delay. We can change that up to 90 seconds. Then we have suspension here. 
sound horn with lower on or off flashlights with lower on or off display suspension messages warnings only uh, we have arrow mode it's on tire jack mode which is prevent auto leveling of air suspension while vehicle is on a jack transport mode prevent auto leveling of air suspension while vehicle is being transported wheel alignment mode if we go down here we have trailer brake so we have trailer one which is current here use this trailer it's on braking all the informations are here then we have audio settings we have the balance slash fade equalizer speed adjusted volume surround sound which is off or on and then auxiliary volume offset and autoplay so usb device will automatically play when autoplay is turned on then we have bluetooth phone pop-ups displaying cluster do not disturb auto reply auto reply message customize auto reply message paired phones and audio devices projection manager smartphone device mirroring then we have the cyrus xm as well as reset so reset app drawer to default order restore settings clear personal data clear cyrus xm data and looking outside of the touchscreen we still have the physical buttons to control the climate volume knob of course tuning knob and then front and rear defroster ac and then on the top hazards button and then over here we have the lane sense and then here is the park sense which will tell me to put the vehicle in drive and underneath here we had all of the other controls so i do hope i covered all of the things in the 12 inch touchscreen on this limited ram 1500 if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys